today is National Wear Red Day. It's part of the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women movement, spreading awareness about heart disease, but not just for women, it's for everyone. But one in three women are dying from cardiovascular disease. Joining me live is Dr. William Gill, a cardiologist at IU Health and the president of the Indianapolis AHA Board of Directors. We were having a great conversation in the commercial break. Um, first of all, just thank you for all that you've done through the pandemic and getting out the information that we all need about protecting our hearts. Thank you, Angela. Appreciate yes. you having me this morning. You got it. Cardiovascular disease, a leading cause of death in Indiana and in the United States. And I know part of what you wanted to get out today in this education really is that heart attacks are on the rise in younger women specifically. And why do you think that is? You know, I think risk factors are prevalent in the United States. Our lifestyles are becoming more sedentary. Um, we are sometimes not seeking out the health care that we need, especially some marginalized groups who are not able to participate in primary care and preventive services. So I think recognizing risk factors, things like diabetes, high blood pressure, knowing what our cholesterol is from a young age, frankly, from our early 20s or late teens, and addressing those risk factors appropriately is going to be increasingly important for all of us. Yeah, and I think that's part of what you wanted. I think we have some information to put up on the screen, specifically going back to the Gen Z and millennials, is that they are less likely to know warning signs. What are they? Exactly. Are they different for a younger population, or is it the same and they just don't know what they are? I think that in general, symptoms would likely be similar or the same for the younger population. But in fact, the, the American Heart Association commissioned a report last year in 2020 to look at 10 year trends of knowledge about cardiovascular health. And what we learned was that in fact, young people, 25 to 34 year olds, in particular women and uh, blacks and Hispanics of all ages um, lack important knowledge about uh, heart disease risk and what those symptoms may be. And so this is a real opportunity for education to help people get the care they need, especially in emergent times, quickly. You also say that 80% of cardiac events are preventable. I think when you hear that kind of a number, you think, okay, I want to prevent it. What do I need to do? And what do you think are some of those number one or two things that we should be doing to be able to prevent 80% of a cardiac event? Right. So the low hanging fruit is don't smoke and be active. Um, these are probably the two most important things that we can do for ourselves without even uh, going to our doctors, for example. But I think knowing our numbers, knowing what your blood pressure is, knowing what your cholesterol is, trying to maintain an ideal body weight. These are the types of things that we can do in addition to not smoking and to maintaining an active lifestyle where we're walking or similar moderate intensity exercise 30 to 60 minutes above and beyond what life brings us most days of the week. These are the ways that we can really prevent cardiovascular disease lifelong. We saw on that screen too, cutting back on sodas and salt and eating more fruits and vegetables. It's those things that we've heard our whole life, but for some reason we can't get it into our head and we can't do it as we should. We're out of time, doctor, but uh, we sure do appreciate you. 